Network effect means that the more users start buying your products and the more people start using your services, the better it is for your business. The absolute best example of network effect in the recent days has to be the blockchain. But it is a complex topic and I will not elaborate on that right now. That is because I am planning to make a separate video explaining blockchain and cryptocurrency in my channel later. But don't worry about it, I have plenty of examples for this video as well. Now, since this is YouTube, I have to do a quick pause and remind you that there is an option of subscribing to this channel. And if you subscribe, I'll be very happy. Let's move on now. At first, let's talk about Amazon. E-commerce websites where people buy from vendors. Let's take this object as a vendor and these as People meaning buyers, normal, regular people. The more people start to use the service of Amazon, the more vendors are likely to be attracted to this service and sell to these people. And the more vendors start selling in this website, the more and more people are going to want to go there and buy from them. This in fact creates a positive feedback loop. That way, more vendors are going to come into the service and start selling their products on Amazon and newer and newer buyers are going to come into the market and start buying from them. This way, the more new users there are for Amazon, the better it is for them. That was an example of network effect. It can be the same case with websites like Etsy and eBay. Here, the term vendor cannot be used like that. For Etsy, we should use the term creators. That is because very small creative artists are the main provider of goods on this site. And for eBay, we should use the term sellers. That is because almost anyone can sell there. You do not have to be a large provider of goods to the market to be a seller on eBay. You also need to understand the concept of critical mass in order to understand network effect. In order to get the benefit of network effect, the companies need to reach a critical mass. Critical mass is the specific amount of people that a company needs to reach in order to be successful in the market. If the user growth rate is really slow and the company fails to reach critical mass, they will eventually fail. Now let's talk about another example, Airbnb. What is the service of Airbnb? People all around the world are going to rent out one or two rooms as a service. Now, if their marketing was not strong enough and not a lot of people provided their rooms to be rented in Airbnb as a service, Airbnb would have failed as a business. That is because they are trying to provide this service all around the world. Now, if they have 150 providers in London and zero providers on Paris, it is not going to work. They are not going to be able to do their business all around the world. Yes, I am going to talk about Uber in a minute. But before that, another fact about network effect can be that the first movers in any industry can heavily get benefited by network effects. That way, they are going to have a significant advantage over the competition. But if another company improves upon every aspect of the business in the industry, the network effect is not going to help the first movers. That is because the users are going to move if they have better service from someone else. So, new companies can steal the customers if they improve upon every aspect of the business. For that example, I am going to talk about Facebook. If you think about Facebook as a service, they were not actually the first mover in the social media industry. MySpace was. But think about it. Where is MySpace right now? Well, they are still out there, but Facebook now is the largest social media platform on the internet. Yes, now let's talk about Uber. For the example of Uber, I am going to talk about how a new company with better infrastructure can defeat the first mover 
and gain competitive advantage. Let's say Uber is doing their business and gaining new and new customers every single day. They are doing this. They will be reaching critical mass pretty soon and they will be successful. But what happens if another company with better infrastructure and a lot more money sees that there is a very big opportunity to earn a lot of money in this sector. What they can do is spend a lot of money and bring out hundreds of more cars on the streets the next day. That way they can provide a reduced waiting time. Yes, when you order a car from Uber, you have to wait for a while. Now, if another company named probably Super gives you half the wait time of Uber, you are definitely likely to switch to Super. That way, bigger companies with established infrastructure can capture the market of smaller startups. That was just a hypothetical example. Uber is quite successful right now. Now, you have to consider that there can be instances when having too many people trying to use your service can prove to be a negative thing. And I am pretty sure you have seen or heard about it happen to one or two online services. In order to gather as much users as possible from the very beginning part of the business, that is the launch of the business, companies try to create a lot of hype around the products. And the hype can get so big that the company does not have the necessary infrastructure to support the number of users at launch. So for online services, a lot of users can log in at the time of launch and as a result, crash the whole system. The most recent example being Disney Plus. At the launch date, a lot of users experienced error messages instead of the service. So you can clearly say that they did not anticipate the number of people that would be using their service correctly. That might be why their servers could not handle the load. It could not be because they did not have the capability. They definitely did. It is Disney. They just assumed that a certain number of people are going to use the service, but in reality, a lot more tuned in to the service. Now you have to consider that this is Disney. So they are not going to really suffer in the long term. But think about it. If you are a new company that was just starting out and new users experienced technical difficulty like that, they are going to go away and they will not give a second thought about your company. And someone else is going to capture their attention. Now that was it for network effect for today. If you have any question, you can ask below. But this is definitely not the end of the video. My regular viewers would know that we still have bonus content left. And for bonus, I'm going to talk about a Disney movie. A trivia about a specific Disney movie, that is Wall-E. Did you know who Wall-E was named after? It was this guy. And a lot of you might have already recognized him. It is Walt Disney. Yes, Walt Disney. So how come Wall E transfers to Walt Disney? Wouldn't it be Walt D or something? No, that is because the full name of Walt Disney is Walter Elias Disney. And that is how they got Wall E. Walter Elias Disney. And now you have guessed it right. This is the official end of this video. Thanks a lot for sticking around. Now I'm going to remind you once again to subscribe to this channel. This is kind of important because it is a pretty small channel at the time of recording this video. So every single subscription matters. So that I can help and educate a lot of more people all around the world. That is all I want. That's my goal with this channel. And thanks for listening. You can also share this video. And if you are still watching this video at this point, you might as well like this video. 
एंड लास्टली आई होप यू लर्न समथिंग न्यू टूडे